Hi friends and welcome to this video. As you know by the title, this is my evening routine and it is the routine for my weekdays. Weekends, of course, look really different. So I typically get home from work um, around like four-ish, depending on traffic and what time I leave. I am a salary employee and I don't clock in and out. So I just, I go to work and I get my work done and then I come home. So typically I get to work around seven in the morning and leave around 3.30, but it does vary a little bit. As soon as I get home, I try to work out because I know if I do anything else first, the chances of me working out are pretty slim. In the winter, I mostly work out inside because it's so cold outside. And I discovered about a year ago that I have exercise induced asthma and the freezing cold weather doesn't help. It makes it worse. So when the weather gets warmer, I might start going for runs and stuff again. But in the meantime, I'm working out in our garage and I've been going through some Peloton classes just because it's really convenient and I record them all on my Apple Watch. This day I'm doing a boxing class. They have a whole like two week boxing course thing and I was trying to get back into working out after my car accident and hurting my back. I'm still doing physical therapy for that so I include that at the end of my workout but I've been trying to get back into doing a normal workout routine and boxing just kind of sounded fun because you're not just like doing push-ups and squats and stuff you're kind of messing around and punching and I don't know it just distracts you from the fact that you're working out and I know I probably look ridiculous doing those punches but I figured I would include them anyway um, now I'm doing some physical therapy things. It's mostly stretches and a little bit of like strength stuff. And so I like to do it after a workout so that I'm nice and warmed up while I'm stretching. I will be honest, I don't necessarily work out every single evening. It kind of comes down to did I end up leaving work late and coming home super late? or did I get home on time? I also have choir practice every Thursday night, so I don't work out on those days. But for the most part, I try to work out Monday through Wednesday and Friday, and usually Saturdays, unless I have something going on. And I, I try to stick to it. If I am feeling super unmotivated or didn't sleep well, I have a hard time working out. But what I've been trying to do is bare minimum just do my physical therapy exercises because I need to be doing them. Obviously after I work out I take a shower and I charge my Apple Watch because it needs to be charged basically every day. I also have a charger at work so I can charge it while I'm sitting at my desk and I have a charger by my bed so sometimes while I'm reading before bed I will charge it then so that it'll be ready for the next day. While I'm in the bathroom, I usually try to go ahead and just take my makeup off so that I can relax the rest of the night and not have to worry about it. I am not always good about this, but I try to do a double cleanse so I'm getting the oils and things that are in the makeup remover off of my face. This doesn't happen every night though. Um, sometimes I'm just too lazy or I forget to do it, but I'm trying to be better about it. I, of course, then moisturize because I feel like the second cleanser can leave my face a little bit dry. So I like to use some moisturizer. Again, this is a step that I sometimes forget. I'm gonna be honest, it's a work in progress trying to take care of my skin. I feel like I'm really lucky and fortunate that I don't break out too much. Like sometimes right before my period, I'll, I'll get one or two little zits, but for the most part, I've never had huge breakouts. And so I think it's something that's easy to neglect if it isn't really a problem for you. So I think I've mentioned this in a few other videos, but I am trying to work on learning Thai. Their alphabet is different and it's a tonal language. So it's difficult, it is not easy. What I've been trying to do is go through this Read Thai in 10 Days book. And then I also found an app called Ling App that is really helpful. There's not a lot of resources for learning Thai, if I'm being honest. Um, so this is mostly what I've been using. And then I just started taking five vocabulary words a week and just quickly going through those before each session so that I can hopefully learn some like sight words. I, for the most part, I kind of know what letters make what sounds. 
um, or characters. I don't know if they're called letters. Anyway, um, I sort of like can see them and kind of guess what sounds they make, but the, the tone is still really hard for me to figure out. And even if I can like sort of read that word, I have a hard time translating it and knowing what it means. So what I'm trying to do is on one side of my note card, I have the tie. And then on the back side, I have the phonetic spelling and then the English meaning. And I'm hoping over time, if I add like five vocabulary words a week, over time I should be able to, you know, have some words. At the moment, I cannot really like speak it conversationally, but um, I mostly know food names. So that's fun. Thomas is Thai and speaks Thai and a lot of the time if we're using Thai it's uh, to talk about food. So I, I can at least order in a restaurant I guess. Dinner is also something that kind of varies. Thomas's work schedule is kind of weird. He works 12 hour shifts and he works um, three to four days a week. So if it's a day that he's not working he'll usually cook dinner and if he is working because he has the longer shift then I will usually cook dinner unless something happens and I get home super late or I know it's gonna be a rough day then maybe we'll order takeout or something this day I am making chicken wings I've actually uh, this is my first time making chicken wings in the oven and not just like frozen from a bag and throwing them in the air fryer but they turned out really good I think what I did was I'm drying them off here just to get the moisture out and then I put them in the flour, put them on foil so that I don't really have to clean my baking tray afterwards and then I put them in the oven for I think it took about 40 minutes but they were actually really good. It was much better than when you buy the frozen stuff from the store. While I'm doing this I usually listen to music or put a YouTube video on or listen to an audiobook. In this case I'm listening to an audiobook and while the chicken wings were cooking, I decided to pack my lunch. Yeah, I probably. always try to pack my lunch the night before. That way in the morning I can just grab it and go and not have to worry about it, especially if I accidentally wake up late or something. While I was packing my lunch, I was on the phone with my mom. She actually called me. Um, she was making dinner while I was making dinner and we were both making chicken, which I thought was kind of a funny coincidence. In flour? That's funny, I'm making chicken wings right now and I just like dredged them in flour and they're in the oven. Of course, once the wings came out, I put some sauce on it. We kind of rotate the sauces that we use to try a new one sometimes, but we typically always stick to yeah, a buffalo sauce and eat it with rice, which is not something I ever thought I would say. Um, but dating someone who's Thai we eat rice with a lot of things that I would have never thought to eat rice with before, but it's really good. And I, we usually end up using our fingers for the rice because your fingers get so like sticky and dirty with the buffalo sauce that you don't really want to be picking up a fork or anything. So you can kind of like squish the rice together and you, we just eat everything with our fingers for this one. We also usually watch something on TV while we're eating. Normally it's anime or We've been watching this Netflix series called Explained and they just kind of like explain things in 20 minutes. It's kind of interesting. I was scrolling on TikTok and saw that cat and I just thought it was hilarious and really cute. I love cats that have weird meows. Both of my cats do. Um, I also made some cookies. These are ones that just come in the like Nestle pack. And you can just throw them in the oven. It's really nice at night if you just want like two cookies and some milk. You don't have to go through the whole process of making a whole batch of cookies. Um, at night is my free time. After dinner I try to not work on anything unless like I'm super inspired to work on some art project or something. So lately I've been playing Pokemon but sometimes I'll play League. If I'm really into a book I'm reading I'll read a book. Like I said, I might work on an art project or something. It's really just time for me to do whatever I want. And normally there's only like an hour, hour and a half of that. So I need some time at the end of my day to relax and just do something for myself, you know? I think it's important to block out that time. Of course, before bed, I brush my teeth as I hope we all do. And because I have braces, I have these rubber bands that are so much fun. 
So I pop those in before bed. I typically leave them out after dinner because I tend to snack after dinner. So they kind of get in the way if you're trying to eat. And then we are off to bed. I typically read before bed, but if I'm super tired, I have had a long day, sometimes I'll just watch TV. Typically I do this for like 30 to 60 minutes and then I actually go to sleep. I go get in bed around 8 and actually go to bed around 8.30 or 9 o'clock. And that concludes my evening routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.